How y'all doing today? Didn't expect to see y'all here today. How y'all doing? No, I'm playing. Of course I expect to see y'all here today. Why else would I be wearing a mic, have my camera set up, doing an office tour? Of course y'all gonna be here today. But anyway, let's get into this office tour. But I'm gonna need a little bit of help, so I'm gonna have a mom come help me film this real quick. But yeah, let's get into it. So clearly this is my office. This is a very, very small office. I think it looks a little bit bigger from um, the videos and stuff like that, but that's just how we got it set up. Amal helped me set this office up and um, yeah, I'll spend a lot of time in here, do all my work in here. So it's set up in a way that makes me feel comfortable how anybody's office or space should be. So what we're gonna start off with is, you know, our little trove of things, our little desk or what is this shelf of things that we like so very first and foremost i got you know my pictures right here gotta have a picture of you know something that i love the most in this world you know what i'm saying always gotta have that there that's never gonna leave you know some nice little flowers decorated it nicely and stuff like that um try to think about where i got this from i got this desk shelf thing from um i think all modern or something like that one of those uh what do you call it um one of those, uh, me, dude, me so, dude, we got the, uh, we got the shelf thing from All Modern or one of those furniture, like online stores or whatever. And then on this, we have like our things that we, uh, here, come on, come on in. We have these things, you know, I like knickknacks and stuff like that. This is my man's right here. He's from, uh, I got this at like a little garage sale for like a dollar. Actually, no, I got it for free. It was supposed to be a dollar, but I didn't have a dollar. So I got it for free. A little Kodak gold race car, man. Came with a helmet and all that. My boy pasty as hell too, I ain't gonna lie. But it's cool, I like that. He's right next to the BMW helmet ashtray. I got this in Toronto. Um, some books, a little match to light the candles up here and stuff like that. So some Shinola matches, some books, clearly candles. Always gotta have it smell good going up in here. That's essential, gotta make sure it smells good. Got the YouTube plaque, Godzilla, Legos, some books. These are billboard magazines that my pictures are in. So, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to make sure I had those on display. You feel me? <laughs> Outside of that, coming down here, we got some speakers, you know what I'm saying? Cause you gotta have the tunes going up in here. These speakers are connected to the record player or I can connect my phone to them. And you know, that's just as good. Listen to music while working or whatever. Got some more books. Um, I like these books. I like, the, I like the way they look and I like the books in general. Some more, you know, um, knick knacky stuff. This is my boy. This is one of the, got this for Christmas. This one of the best Christmas gifts that I got this Christmas outside of the stuff my girl got me and stuff like that. But you know what I'm saying? This my boy Aaron. If y'all watch Attack on Titan, y'all know Aaron is he's him. Um, these are just black books. I put them down here because well, Amal helped me set this up because I was struggling on how to set this up. Amal came in here and did all this, and I was like, oh, thank God for her because I was like, I don't know where to put none of this. But anyway, yeah, there's some black books. She I don't know, ask her why she did what she did. But anyway, coming over here, you know what I'm saying? We got the record player and the records. This is a Victrola um, record player. I just listened to the, um, I just have a regular, I got this shit from Target. I don't know, I do in the future need to get a better record player, but for now this works. But um, yeah, then we got a bunch of records over here. We got a bunch of Sade, um, I mean, and a bunch of Sade. Like it doesn't stop, the Sade keeps going. You feel me? This is just a lot of Sade, then you know what I'm saying? You got your mic jack. But anyway, yeah. Speaking of which, this thing that the records are being held in, um, I got for free from somebody. And then um, it was like not cute at all. So I stained it, made it, you know, all nice and nice and stuff. And then, yeah, put my records in it. It wasn't even a record holder. I just made it a record holder. Not important. This is the couch. Um, I think we got this couch off of. Amazon it turns into a bed I don't feel like doing it right now but you can pull it out turns into a bed you know that goes down 
and then yeah you can have a bed so sometimes we use this office as a guest room sometimes when people come over and they get too turned up they get too tipsy you know what i'm saying they don't want to drive home and stuff like that you know come in here you know we got stuff in the closet pillows blankets you know a little comforter all type of stuff so turns into a bed and this is this office doubles as a um if you're if you're too intoxicated to drive home sleep here type thing because we don't we don't like drunk driving so feel me we can talk about the art on the wall for a second um these are three pictures that I like. They don't necessarily go together, but I like them and they look good. Um, this is a mall in Florida, Tyler's Hands, Snap Dog in the Hood. I like them. They all, all three same size, whatever. Then we got Kobe, the greatest basketball player to ever touch a basketball. Very, you know, important to me. Love Kobe forever and always will. R.P. Kobe and his daughter and everybody else um, passed away. These are two of my favorite photos that I've taken. This one is of Dylan. Kodak actually reposted this one a while ago when, you know, I was cool. And then this one is of Wilson Chandler, if anybody know who that is, basketball player. Well, this is Whoa. Oh, Chandler! That is a man's chance soaring through the air. And this is just him in his old school car. Um, I like that picture a lot. And then this is one of my favorite movies of all time, Pulp Fiction. Anybody who's seen it knows why that is classic Quentin Tarantino movie. Right here we have the mini fridge, which is for miniature fridge things. So right now I have a bunch, a bunch of film in there. Not even a bunch, not just like a bunch of Kodak gold. Um, I need to get more film and some more stuff to put in there. I used to have, I used to have beers and all type of other stuff in there, but I need to get more stuff to put in there. But that's the mini fridge. Thing that you guys probably want to see the most is the desk. So here it is. This is a standing desk as y'all know i used to have an, another desk that i did not like at all i had that desk for so long but it was just like big long clunky just didn't look good and i always wanted a new desk and amal got a new desk and i was like you know what it's probably time for me to get a new desk and take my desk situation seriously so your boy got himself a standing desk you feel me also first of all let's let's actually talk about this chair it's like it's not really that much of um much of anything to talk about it's a chair I think it looks cool, you know, a little mid-century vibes and stuff like that. I got it off of Wayfair. Nice chair, it's pretty comfy, I think. Um, it rolls good, leans back a little bit, you know, nice little body, you know what I'm saying? I try to work on my posture and shit like that, but I know, you know, I struggle. But anyway, yeah, I like it, it's nice, it looks good. It doesn't really match the wood, but I don't care. It looks good, you know? This is my desk. I'm happy I got this desk. It's a standing desk, as you can see. I can, you know, stand up and use it, which I'm really excited about because I feel like my productivity is gonna be a lot. Well, it is and has been a lot better since I got this standing desk. Cause once I get tired, like once I'm like doing something, working, I'm sitting down, I get tired, I just like start doing other shit. So, you know, once I get a little bit restless, I can stand up, you know, I can start, you know, working, doing my thing and doing what I gotta do and stuff like that. Um, this is a Fazebo standing desk. I think it's just like their um, regular standing desk. It didn't cost that much, I don't think, but whatever, um, it's nice. On my desk, I have a Mac iMac. Um, I love this computer. It's not like specced out or have like the highest specs, but gets the job done. I can do everything that I need to do on it. I stream on it. Um, I edit videos on it. I edit photos on it. I search the web. I watch movies. I do everything on this computer and it's been working perfectly fine since I've had it. Maybe at some point I'll get an upgrade or something like that. But for right now, it's good and I like it. Um, it's 27 inch, I think, and I don't know the specs, but I'll put them on the screen when I do figure it out, but it's good. I like it. Connected to that is my stream deck. Um, I use that for streaming clearly. And this is just like, so I can, while I'm on stream, I can connect to things like real easily, or if I got to go to final cut while I'm editing or go back to Lightroom, I don't have to like go to it on the computer. I could just press a button and it goes to it. And then I can mute my mic, you know, all type of stuff. Um, then I got little you know, uh, quips and stuff for like certain things, like say somebody, you know what I'm saying, drop your boy a good sub, I'd be, okay, we got a sub. What happened? We got a sub, you feel me? And then, you know what I'm saying, I got a little other stuff.
I usually play that after I, you know, when I'm playing Apex and, you know, I die in Apex, I usually play that because, you know, I'll be having bad days. But anyway, speaking of all of that streaming and Apex and stuff like that, this is my monitor that I stream on. It is connected to a monitor arm. I love the monitor arm because I used to just have both these monitors sitting on my desk, but I guess um, having it on an arm is a lot better for me because I can you know, have more desk area, more surface area for my desk. I used to also like a lot of things being on my desk. Now I like nothing being on my desk. As you can see, it's just what needs to be on here. So um, also with this mic stand, moving on to the mic stand. Um, this is a Shure SM7B mic. Don't really need to get into it, but this is a mic stand. It's nice. Now that I sit here and I, you know what I'm saying, sit down and I, you know what I'm saying, I can, I can be all the way over here, goddamn it. You know what I'm saying? I'll be podcasting it up you know, playing the game, on stream, doing videos, whatever I gotta do, and then when I'm done, I can just boom. Yeah, and it's put up, you know what I'm saying, nice and it looks good, I like it. I like it a lot. And then also moving on to the things that are on my desk, this is a Sateki, I think that's what it's called, or Satachi, I don't know what it's called, but these are just their um, mouse, mice, and keyboard. I like it because it's nice and sleek. It looks like an Apple keyboard, but it's like nice, so I like it, you know what I'm saying, a little slate gray action and then like this mouse pad too is also so techy i like it they make very nice quality good looking um like computer desk electronic stuff so i, I really like Satechi and it uh looks good so that's that um my xbox is back there i don't really need to get into that my some cores and stuff back here like whatever power supply stuff like that the dyson you know uh what is it a uh, air purifier a heater and a fan, you know what I'm saying? So I got everything covered in here when in terms of that. It's called a walking pad. For anybody who doesn't know what a walking pad is, it is a pad in which you walk on. Amal got one of these and I was like, wow. See, Amal know what she doing. Like Amal, she be doing everything right, the right way, the way things are supposed to be done. So she got her nice little walking pad to use while she works. And I was like, wow. Speaking of productivity and feeling restless and all that other stuff, this right here fixes all of that. So you pull it out, boom, right? Or if you just need to get some good exercise in while you're working, you don't really have time to go to the gym, you know you're working. You know what I'm saying? You get the walking pad out, turn it on, you know what I'm saying? You raise the desk up and you get your walk on, you feel me? Get your walk on. You can, you know what I'm saying, increase the speed a little bit. And now, at this point, um, I'm working. Yeah, what I need to work on? I don't even know what I need to work on, let's see. YouTube, just look up, um, I don't even know, Big Va, Volandis. A little workout on it, we working at the same time, you get kill two birds and one stone, you feel me? This is literally what they meant when they said, kill two birds and one stone. I'm out of breath. Whew. God damn. Whew. But all right, cool. This is my little office tour. This is where I come to have some solace. This is how I get all my work done and shit like that. This room inspires me, you know what I'm saying? From all my little, you know, silly little knickknacks to my standing desk to my little walking pad, everything in this room inspires me to do better and make better work and just like feel comfortable while making that stuff. But anyway, yeah, also, while we're at it all of these things that's you know in my office that i really like and stuff like that and i think is useful and would be useful for anybody else check it out i have an amazon storefront linked in my description below so if you want to check some of that stuff out go ahead check it out you know what i'm saying fuck with your boy you feel me you know what i'm saying yeah 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 but anyway yeah that's probably gonna you know wrap this video up um appreciate y'all you know seeing the office because y'all usually only see it from one angle and y'all really see all the stuff that's in here um for all the people who's asked me about some of the stuff that's in here linked in that description but anyway yeah but we're gonna get out of here you know what i'm saying as they would say in some of those uh you know videos on mtv you ain't gotta leave but you gotta get the heck up out of here you know what i'm saying your boy you know what i'm saying got stuff to do today and you know what i'm saying i'm gonna escort y'all out i don't wanna you know what i'm saying do you know just put y'all out on your ass but you know what i'm saying y'all gotta go anyway you know what i'm saying do this i'm gonna see y'all later i'm gonna get some work done maybe not but then maybe i am but then maybe not happy new year